He was a human pinata for those police officers. It was an unadulterated, unabashed, nonstop beating of this young boy for three minutes. Oh my God. You just listened to a description of the violence that 29-year-old Tyree Nichols suffered on January 7th after he was mercilessly beaten by five police officers once they pulled him over for reckless driving. Now they left him in critical condition and he died three days later. Now the police officers who took his life are being charged. The Washington Post reports five Memphis police officers fired last week in connection with the beating death of a 29-year-old black man were jailed on Thursday and charged with second-degree murder, aggravated assault, and kidnapping, according to Shelby County jail booking information. After viewing body camera video of the arrest on Monday, lawyers for Nichols' family said he was kicked, punched, and tasered less than 100 yards from his home. A police spokesperson said officers pulled Nichols over for alleged reckless driving, and Nichols fled on foot before he was ultimately arrested. Now, Tyree's father believes that he fled because he was afraid, and for good reason. Nichols' family attorney, Ben Crump, revealed that police pulled Nichols over in unmarked vehicles. Now, Motor Biscuit reports that Tennessee has no limitations on how police use unmarked cars, whereas other states do have limitations on the use of unmarked police vehicles. For example, California doesn't allow unmarked police vehicles to conduct routine traffic stops. But in Indiana, for example, a police officer in uniform can pull over someone in an unmarked vehicle, but if they're wearing just civilian clothing, they do have to be in a fully marked vehicle in order to conduct routine traffic stops. Now, when you have additional context, you really can't blame Nichols for being scared here. The Washington Post continues, Nichols' family said he suffered from Crohn's disease and struggled to maintain body weight, hovering around 145 pounds for most of his adulthood. At least two of the officers involved in the deadly encounter, Martin and Mills, played college football According to their booking information on the jail website, all weighed more than 200 pounds. Yeah, so just put yourself in Tyree's shoes for a moment here. You're pulled over by an unmarked vehicle and a big dude approaches you. You're a relatively smaller gentleman. I mean, I think it's logical to deduce that he felt threatened. He felt scared because maybe he didn't know what was going on. Had he been assured that that was indeed a police officer, then maybe he wouldn't have run. But either way, even if he knew that he was being pulled over by a police officer and he still ran, running from the cops is not a literal death sentence. It shouldn't result in a literal death sentence. But in this instance, it did. Now, the family's attorney, Ben Crump, says that the footage was so bad that it reminded him of the Rodney King video. So... It's bad. And the Memphis Police Department announced that all five officers were fired for violating department policy. And not only did they use excessive force, but they had a duty to intervene and a duty to render aid, which they failed to do. And even the police chief has condemned these officers, which really demonstrates how horrific the officers' actions were. Let's listen. The Memphis police chief speaks out in a recorded statement, making clear there will be absolute accountability for those responsible for the death of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. This is not just a professional failing. This is a failing of basic humanity toward another individual. This incident was heinous, reckless, and inhumane. So you know that that video is bad when the police chief comes out and condemns it so forcefully. And as Twitter user Rebecca Pierce puts it, you know how bad the Tyree Nichols footage has to be if they're actually charging the cops in his death before releasing it? Exactly. It's got to be horrific. So the question is, when will they release the footage? Well, there's no definitive timeline at the time that I record this video, but according to NC5 reporter Hunter Hoagland, Tyree's arrest video is expected to be released on Friday, and they're expecting the public to react with outrage, given how horrifying it supposedly is. Now, police violence against Black Americans is common, but I don't want us to simply brush this aside as if Tyree is nothing more than another statistic. The fact is that this was a human being. He loved to skateboard, and he was really good at it. He was a father, a son, a brother, and he felt pain just as you and I do. He had ambitions, he had hopes, he had dreams. But now, all of that was taken from him due to these violent, murderous police officers.
So let's learn about who Tyree was, because I think that that further drives home the point that we're not just talking about another news story, another statistic. We're talking about a human being here. Nichols was a driver for FedEx. He'll be remembered as a loving father and son, the baby of the family with a tattoo of his mother's name on his arm. Nobody's perfect, OK? Nobody. Mm -hmm. But he was damn near. My son was a beautiful soul. He liked to go to Starbucks most mornings where he befriended an unlikely group of people. One of those friends tells CNN Nichols was a free spirited person, a gentleman who marched to the beat of his own drum. He enjoyed skateboarding and taking pictures of sunsets. A friend who knew Nichols in Sacramento said this of him. He was his own person and didn't care. He didn't fit into what a traditional black man was supposed to be in California. He had such a free spirit and skating gave him his wings. For this to happen to him in this way, the pain is just, it's, it's, I have no words. It's just devastating. His family described him as a beautiful person and he mattered. His life mattered. He had a long life ahead of him, but that life was stolen from him by five violent, murderous police officers and it's not just that he had his life stolen away from him his family had him stolen away from them and that is genuinely just so sad to think about his sister and what she said was just that really struck a chord with me the first time that i saw it because you could just you can see the pain in her eyes like what they're going through, the pain, it's its almost palpable, but still I can never put myself in their shoes because currently they're probably just in a state of shock. So what happened to Tyree is just further evidence that the entire system of policing in America is rotten from top to bottom. And not, not to sound too cynical here, but I just genuinely don't know how you can reform a system like this where five police officers beat a man until he is in critical condition. It's just, it's nauseating, it's sickening, but this is a reality for mostly black Americans and also brown people in the United States of America. The system of policing isn't to serve and protect as we were taught. It is a police force, an oppressive force, a militarized force lording over civilians and treating them with no regard for their humanity, no regard for their lives. And it's just, it's sickening. But here we are.